4, 5, and 6, we are going to do sort of the same thing we did before. We're going to use the graphing calculator to solve an inequality. So again, we're going to start out by just putting in two separate equations. y equals the sine of x, and then on the other side, y equals negative 0.2x plus 0.5. So we're going to put those two things in on the graphing calculator. So over here on my graphing calculator, if I bring that up, clear that all out. That first one was the sine of x. I don't have to change that one. Sine of x, yep. The second one was negative 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5. Well, how handy. That was the same equations we had in problem three when they were equal. Now we're doing problem four where we're doing our inequality. So again, we would put those in. We would go to the graph. Now we were doing that we wanted, if you go back and look, the sine of x is less than or equal to. So this is my sine curve. I want the points where it's lower than my line. So my sine curve is lower here. Whoops. My sine curve is lower here, and it's lower down here. So again, I'm going to find my intersections because here, I'm going to go from negative infinity to whatever this point where they intersect is. Then I'm going to do these two points from there to there. So again, checking our intersections, if I clear off my scribbling, I'm going to hit intersect, I'm going to move that over and hit intersect here, and so we said that was at 0 0.43. So this section of my graph is going from negative infinity to 0 0.43. Now this had the or equal to, so this will have a bracket, this will have a parenthesis. That's this section right here of my graph. I'm going to join that with the union sign, but of course that's going to erase. And so when I go to the next part here, then what I'm going to do is find these two intersections. So intersect, move that over here, click on intersect. That one was at 3.30. It's probably going to erase, but I'm going to write it down anyway. Then I'm going to do my other intersection. So click intersect, move that over here, hit intersect, 5.61. So we had 3.30 and 5.61. Now these are both equal to where those meet, so these ends will both have brackets on them. This one again went from negative infinity to 0 0.43. That had a bracket. This had a parenthesis because we can't be on infinity joined with the union sign. So this section is lower, that little section there is lower. So we do the same thing we did on three, 1, 2, and 3, where we find our intersections, but then we look, look to see which section is lower or which section is higher if we're doing greater. So our answer should look something like that. <clears throat> Okay, number five, we are figuring out where the cosine of x is less than 0.2x minus 1. So again, we're going to graph y equals the cosine of x. We're going to graph y equals 0.2x minus 1. We're going to figure out where it's less than. So going over to my graphing calculator, hit y equals. I'm going to clear out those ones that are in there already. And so I'm going to graph for number 5, cosine of x for my first one. So cosine the x t theta n key. My second one, I am going to do 0.2x minus 1. So 0.2x t theta minus 1. So cosine of x, 0.2x minus 1, I'm going to hit graph. I want to find the sections where it's less than. Well, I'm less than down here between these two places. I'm less than here and all the way on. 
And so again, I want to find my three intersections and write them in interval notation. Now this time we're just less than, not less than or equal to, so we're going to use parentheses. So we'll have our first interval, our union, and then our second interval will end up going to positive infinity when I find what that intersection is. So I want to find my first two intersections so I can fill in my first set here. Of course, that's going to erase when I have to touch the board to find the intersections. But I'm going to go ahead and hit intersect here. And so my first intersection, 2.1719. So 2.17 is where I would start. Again, that's going to erase because I have to go to the next intersection. So get to the OK, hit intersect. Find my second one, hit intersect there, 4.640, 4.64. So our first one was at 2.7, or 2.17, 2.17 to 4.64. That's going to be our first interval. And then our second one here, if I go back to intersect and find my third third intersection way down here on the end, intersect 7.362, so 7.36 since it's 7.362, and that's going to go to positive infinity, so again, I'm going to have 2.16, <clears throat> or 2.17, 2.17 to 4.64, union, and then 7.36 to infinity. Of course, when I hit this, it's going to erase the board, but I want to see, show you where you're at here, so I'm going to hit OK. So, <clears throat> this was the 2.17. To my 4.64. That was your first inner or your first interval that's less than, that's lower than our line. Our second one here started at 7.36. And then this is just going to keep going and going while that line's just going to keep going up here. So it's going to go off to infinity. And so our answer is going to look like that. 2.17 to 4.64 or 7.36 to positive infinity. Again, all parentheses because we didn't have the equal to underneath our inequality sign. <clears throat> and number six here. Number six, this time we're doing the sine of x is greater than or equal to negative 0.3x plus one. So, going to y equals Clearing out our graphs, first one, we want sine of x, so sine of x. The second one we said was negative 0.3x, so again, use the subtraction for the negative, 0.3x plus 1, I believe it was, plus 1. And so we're going to graph those. This time we said we wanted to find where we were greater than or equal to. So greater than or equal to will be this little intersection here. And then from here, this is going to keep going and that line is going to keep going down. So that's going to go off to infinity. But because it does have the equal to, we are going to include those endpoints. So our first intersection will have brackets on both ends. Our second one's going to have a bracket and then go to infinity. So infinity, of course, is going to have parentheses on it. So again, we want to find our three intersections. And so I'm going to hit intersect. My first intersect section, if I drag that over and hit intersect, 0 0.843. So 0 0.84 would start my answer. Of course, again, I have to clear it so that I can get back to my graph. Intersect. Find my second intersection. Hit intersect there. 3.059, so 3.06. So 
So we went from 0 0.84 to 3.06. And that was going to be this first little part up here that's above my line since I'm doing greater than or equal to. I then have to do my second section, which is going to start right here. So again, I've got to clear my board so I can find my intersection and drag that over to that third intersection, hit intersect, 5.554, so 5.55. We'll go to positive infinity. Again, this will have a bracket because we are equal to, but we can't get into infinity. And so, again, our first section that we had was 0 0.84 to 3.06. And then we had the union sign 5.55 to infinity. So here we had the 0 0.84 to the 3.06. Here we started at 5.55, and that one just keeps going on to infinity. So if I'm looking for greater than, where is it above the line? Less than, where is below the line? If it has the equal to, we have the brackets on our intersection. If it doesn't have the equal to, we just have parentheses.